Let's head to Tanzania now, where the central bank has revoked the licenses of five critically undercapitalized community banks. And that's to protect its financial stability in, of course, East Africa's number three economy. There are about 40 commercial banks and a dozen community banks, which target savings from specific communities or sectors such as farming. The financial sector is, however, dominated by just a handful of big banks. The central bank said it will liquidate the Covenant Bank for Women, the Efatha Bank, Jombe Community Bank, Kagera Farmers Cooperative Bank, and Mary Community Bank. Now, this brings to eight the number of banks whose business licenses have been cancelled since 2017. Of course, analysts are seeing a steep increase in bad loans coupled with a sharp decline in a credit to the private sector are threatening to undermine economic growth. Well, our Tanzania reporter, Daniel Kijo, joins me live in the studio with more. Daniel, is always welcome to the show. And Thank you, Uche. Welcome to the show in the studio Thank for you the so first much. time. Thank well, let's talk about uh, Tanzania's financial sector. What really is the scenario on ground? As we heard there, the central bank has stepped in. But how bad is the situation? Um, it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, I think what the central bank is trying to do is basically enforce the law. And uh, the Banks and Financial Institutions Act of 2016 clearly uh, requires uh, banks to have a minimum of two billion Tanzanian shillings, something like uh, two million dollars as capital backed up in, in the bank. So mm -hmm. um, banks that are not meeting the standards uh, are facing the BOT's uh, um, harsh hand. And um, these are banks that are severely undercapitalized and uh, a, risk, a risk to depositors and also the financial situation. Main reasons, as you said, are uh, non-performing NPLs, non-performing uh, loans, uh, bad debt. So I think uh, what the central bank is doing is just tightening on the bank law that, mm. that you know, of 2000. So it certainly looks like uh, Tanzania's banking sector is heading towards consolidation in yes. the new year. We're going to see the number of banks continue to come down. Yes. What are your thoughts on that? Yes. Yeah. I think uh, it would, again, depend on those banks that follow the law. So if, if they do follow the, the, the law, the Banking and Financial Institutions Act of 2006, uh, they should do business. If not, as we've seen, uh, the bank is not easy on them. Mm. Yeah. And of course, this all comes from President Magufuli, who has been quite tough yeah. uh, in his stance on corruption, reckless public spending. So yes. uh, what exactly have been the positive aspects of his crusade? Because he has been criticized yes. quite a lot for this tough stance. They have been positives. He has led by example. We have seen uh, a lot of reductions uh, from uh, 2015 uh, in uh, sort of flights. He has not taken a lot of international flights himself personally, a lot of cutting on spending of these foreign trips that government officials used to take. Mm -hmm. There have been a lot of cutting on sort of conferences and, uh, and uh, foreign mission uh, in other, to other countries. And there were times where government officials would do uh, national agenda meetings in other countries. He has said a no to that. Um, he also reduced, uh, under his um, regime and cracking down on corruption and sort of bad management, he, 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 he has uh, reduced 10,000 ghost, uh, ghost work that were just being paid and this was money that the government was spending on. He also uh, fired 9,900 plus uh, um, um, public servants who had fake IDs. And his mindset of cost cutting has spread across not just the central bank, even the local governments. You see district uh, officers cutting costs in their own uh, budgets as well. And it's even gone further to the private sector. We've seen uh, since 2015 a lot of spending from big companies like telcos, a lot of, uh, of cost cutting, etc., etc. So it's a mindset shift that I think is affecting the whole country though. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course we saw him also targeting the mining sector yes. uh, last year. But very quickly, are Tanzanians happy with what he's doing? I think that's a, a, a challenging question. Uh, some are happy. Obviously, mm -hmm. big businesses have uh, um, responded with a bit of a shock with his uh, new style of, 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 of doing things. But I think, in general, the majority of Tanzania, the 80% who are uh, you know, low-income earners, are very happy with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with all these changes, drastic changes he's uh, putting in place, with all these reforms, what are some of the key areas uh, we should be looking at in terms of the economy in the next uh, year? Um, the World Bank does an economic review says that, you know, the one that released end of 2017 uh, anticipates that the economy will grow by 6.2 percent from 2017 to 2016. Um, heavy investment in rail, port and road, um, the main drivers for this uh, GDP growth. Um, people are excited to see the mining sector. You touched on that as well. What will happen in, the, in 2018? We've seen 2016 with the new policy changes and how will now the, the mining sector stabilize or balance? We've seen tourism do very well 
well towards the end of 2017. In fact, Ngorongoro and Serengeti, which are one of the biggest uh, touristic attractions in Tanzania, were, were flooded with tour tourists in, in finishing 2017. So that has always been a strong sector for Tanzania. But again, the banking sector is critical to an economy, economic growth. So experts are waiting to see how the, the banking sector itself will, will stabilize in the coming, coming mm -hmm. year. And of course, regional integration is yeah. going to be a big uh, item, a topic in this yes. coming year. Uh, East African community, there's been a little, little bit of friction. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are looking to see what Magufuli's moves are going to be in terms of integrating yeah. Tanzania with the rest of, rest of East Africa. Last year, we heard Kenya's president announce that the East African will now be allowed, every East African will now be allowed to live and invest in Kenya without restrictions. How uh, is, are we going to see President Magufuli and Tanzania respond to that? As you know, Kenya and Tanzania have enjoyed um, very deep economic and cultural relationships for many years. Um, the news uh, when pres the Kenyan president announced uh, what you just said which was received positively by many Tanzanians, uh, including myself. Uh, but uh, we are yet to hear a clear sort of as outspoken uh, response from uh, President Magufuli. So that is one that we're waiting to see in 2018. Maybe we will hear him uh, open positive? up on this. Does he look positive about integration going uh, forward? That's a, a wait and that's see. Hard, that's a wait and see. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Well, many thanks for joining us in the studio. Of course, that's our Tanzanian correspondent, Daniel Akedra.